going on? I'm back again. I'm going to be doing a multicolor print today with using two screens only. This will be the first. This is actually just a black outline. I'm going to be printing this one second. And this will be the multicolored print. I'm going to use two different inks to kind of squeegee down an array of colors. So that'll just be a really color print I used the uh this is like a 180 mesh the other one's 230 I use 180 typically for colors that uh you just want the ink to flow well through the 230 mesh is more for like a detailed maybe like a half tone print so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna load them up on here and uh kind of register show you how I register them on the platen okay so I lay my I position my transparency where I actually align it on the platen itself. I kind of use a measuring to get it where I need to be. Also, I have like guidelines on my platen. So I bring my screen down and I first kind of try to get it as close as I can just with the clamps before I use the micro. So again, I'm just trying to align that X as close as possible. So got it all taped up. Um, got both my screens here. Now I'm gonna put some ink. This is gonna be the black. And with this one, I'm gonna do either two or three colors. Like I'm gonna have one color here, one color here, one color here, and I'm gonna pull down. So it's gonna be almost like a rainbow type of effect. So let's do it. So now I'm gonna load up the ink onto here. I got three different colors. First, you flood the screen so you have it up. We're gonna drop it down. Man. 
of course it's gonna take a few times for it to you know really get in there well properly See, I'll probably end up doing a couple of a uh, couple practice prints just to just to get that ink really transitioning. I think it could look better. So you don't want the ink to be completely dry. You want it to be a little bit sticky. But uh I'm gonna just go with the black anyway. So there's nothing, nothing coming up. Shazam! see that it looks pretty good spot on perfect I was able to get a pretty good variation transition from green to yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shirts
so this is the final result I think that transition came in pretty cool now again uh, I wouldn't do too many of them using that technique because it could eventually start to like the colors start to bleed into each other and uh, the colors could really just start to go off course so if you like this design this shirt you know let me know give me a thumbs up follow me subscribe uh i'm doing this for y'all mostly this is a brand moving dro this is my personal brand if you would like a shirt the only thing i would ask is for you to pay shipping and i'll send it to you for free so just uh just let me know in the comments and send me a message you can find my brand at, at moving dro on instagram and yeah contact me if you want to collaborate or if you have any more questions i'll see you soon